So the process would look a bit like this. The base station would uh, go through this, this sequence and it would transmit in all these different directions and then the mobile would listen to what was out there and figure out what's the best signal and it would then communicate back on that signal at the appropriate timing advance etc. There's a further complication because the UE also has a steerable antenna and I'll come on to that later. So there's an interaction between these two things which will slow the process down. It's also important to explain the difference between the initial access for a, a single uh, base station versus what may happen in terms of handovers within a cell with different uh, transmission reception points and also handovers between cells. So these are all different procedures. And one of the things in release 15 which limits the complexity of what we're dealing with is there's an assumption, I don't know if it's been finally written in, in the RAM1 specs, but the release 15 mobile will not be required to support more than one simultaneous beam even though in theory it could, especially if it has a couple of panels that it could independently steer. So that simplifies things a lot, um, particularly on the testing side, because if the mobile did have more than one active beam, uh, that would make life very interesting in terms of, of how do you create a spatial test environment when the mobile is looking in two different directions. <laughs>